freaking micro raptors dude oh i hate you i hate you you're you're dead I, oh there's three of them what the heck is going on what is there's four of them oh my i just can't what is going on What's happening, YouTubeiverse? It's your boy, Darkularity. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended, where last time things got a little bit spicy for us. So I'm just here at our base. Um, after the last episode, if you guys remember the last episode, we got uh, we got three raptors and we got the Triceratops, which we grew up from a beautiful baby that we stole from its mother. Now, at the end of the last episode, while I was doing the outro, if you guys didn't catch it at the end there, both of the other two low-level raptors died. <laughs> fighting that turtle and uh so i'll <laughs> insert a clip here you guys will see uh, i didn't even realize while i was talking that um that they died both of them went ahead and they just died and uh oh well what do you do that sucks but we're back in here and at the end of the last episode after it was done i did a few things so i set down another foundation just i threw a uh, preserving bin on here place i could just keep meat and berries uh, made some more spark powder and threw them in there and i also spoiled up some meat so that we could make narcotic I also went ahead and I made a bunch of narcotic. It's actually, it's not in here, it's on me. So we have 137, so we can do more narco arrows whenever we need to. What are we gonna do today? Well, we are gonna find a new base place. So let's have a look at the map here. I wanna find a place and actually start building a base. I don't like being on the coast down here. I wanna be more like inner map. Uh, and there's tons that obviously we haven't explored yet. So I'm thinking we come up the coast in this kind of direction. Or maybe, hmm, we can maybe come all the way along here and come up this way, but that is pretty far to go on the back of a raptor. So I'm thinking we're just gonna head north along the coast here, up there, and see if we can find anywhere uh, nice to base up. What do we need to do before we leave? Well, I'd like to repair, 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 repair my second bow. So let's go ahead and we'll just grab uh, some wood, thatch, fiber, and come through. No, down here and we'll just uh, repair that what else do we need to repair nothing really um, maybe we should grab a couple of these and make a few more um, oh, I need stone a few more bolas there we go grab those how many can we make 28 let's go ahead and make another what do we have two let's make eight so we have ten on us I mean why not right we've got 80 arrows that's not too bad I guess we might as well repair this one too while we're at it Let's craft up a few more arrows. Where are they at? Right here, we're missing flint. I don't think I have flint actually right now. Hey, you know what, we'll be fine with the arrows that we have. Um, yeah, it should be good. Also, I've learned too, I'm just gonna leave all these resources right here. No sense, I'll transfer them after we find a base place and get kind of set up. I think we're good, let's grab some meat. I'm gonna bring this jerky and I'm gonna bring this stack of meat here. Everything else is fine and can stay for now. I think the Triceratops and the Moss Chops will be fine for now. They still don't have names, but I'm recording this in kind of advance. I've been recording videos faster than the days they're coming out. Uh, you got a level, buddy. Let's put that into stamina because I think we're going to need it today. And then I know for sure I have a level or two. Oh, whoa, seven levels. Oh, my goodness. I was running around killing things, too, uh, with the Raptors. So let's come in here. What do we want to do? I want to bring health maybe up to 300. Now, 280 for now, and the rest we're going to put into, hmm, what do we need right now? Maybe some more weight, I guess? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. So we're just going to head straight north up the coast here. Guys, we'll be back. We'll be back. You guys be safe. Don't, uh, don't die by anything. There's nothing really big in terms of predators down here, so I think we're going to be okay, hopefully. Um, also, I noticed, too, you can open the map and continue to run. <laughs> and it's up. So like D2 vibes or what, right? If you guys you guys play Diablo, <laughs> you can do this all the time. It's amazing. Even Path of Exile, I suppose, too. Look at that, a Therizinosaurus. Man, I'm seeing Therizinosauruses everywhere. And we might as well continue to gather meat and hide while we're uh, running about. Levels for our beautiful little raptor buddy here. No, you guys stop running away. Come here, you moss chops. I need to eat you. Okay, perfect. All right, well, I'm going to continue. I'm going to run up this up north of this coast here and see um, see if I can find anything interesting in terms of base locations. Hmm, there has to be a spinal, like, right here where we need to go, right? Okay, well, what what are we going to do? Can we, can we outrun a spinal? I don't think so, man. They're pretty fast. We might have to go... 
I guess we could cross over this way and go through the woods or we can just let's run up into the woods we have we're into the jungle I have I've avoided the jungle out of fear but I think we're gonna have to do it this time um I also notice too I can change the camera style while riding but I want to see if I can get used to this style of a uh, of the camera it is weird but i do kind of like it because you kind of get it oh whoa 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 <laughs> you get a better perspective but it is a little spooky um just to get used to you okay, and we'll come through here it seems relatively safe over here uh it's a fioma we got insects oh gosh another there's xenosaurus gosh there's there are xenosauruses everywhere look there's another one what is going on Fairies everywhere. Looks like we have a. Is that a Carno over there? No. Is that uh Allosaurus? Mm-hmm. A pack of Allosauruses. Okay, let's avoid that. Let's open the map. Where are we? We've already come up to the back side of this. I guess we continue to go north this way. Well, I just found out something amazing. If you hold Alt while you're on a dino, you can friggin' zoom in and out. <laughs> How amazing is that for exploring around? That is fantastic. Okay, where are we here? We are just at the tip. So I want to go straight. I'm going to cross the river here. There's green obelisk. Now let's deactivate this camera mode. We're going to come right along here. Hello, Mr. Diplo. Uh, no piranhas. We're good. All right. We got to pack. Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's raptors. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Stop. Dude, passive. Let me on. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Freaking micro raptors, dude. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. You're you're dead. I, oh, there's three of them. What the heck is going on? What is there's four of them? Oh my. I just can't what is going on. I can't even attack them. Holy cannoli. We're we're gonna die. There's like a pack of raptors right over here too. Frickin' micro raptors. Look how fast, uh, there's two more. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we'll just sit here and take the uh, micro raptor attacks. This is micro raptor central right now. Over spawning issue here, maybe. <laughs> I hate them so much. Yeah, we're not basing down here. Mm-hmm. Get out of here, man. I have never seen that many micro raptors at one time before. Ever. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna continue on and act like that never happened. We got raptors over here. I'm confident I can beat the raptors. Rather than trying to run out run them, we might as well just beat them. Get these guys dealt with. Hello, little raptors. Uh, they're not doing too much damage to me. I got a pretty good saddle. We got an ascendant saddle. Oh, also, I I um, was reading on Twitter. If you guys you guys can find links to that to my Twitter, and follow it if you want to. But I was reading on Twitter that uh, wrong menu that the saddle durability is actual. Uh, it's actually a visual bug. Dolly confirmed that it is a bug. There is no durability associated with saddles. It's just visual, so you don't have to repair it. You don't have to do anything. That is uh, fantastic. We are going to pop a level into his stamina, I guess. Jeez, what a gong show it's been already. <laughs> I see another Spino over there too. Great. Ooh, this is a creepy little trail, isn't it? I'd like to get up somewhere higher, you know? Let's see, let's see where this trail leads. Oh my God, tell me this isn't beautiful. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Um, let's go up this way. I'd like to find maybe a platform up some safety with cliff edges around so that we can, uh, so we can build with it, like build the wall on one side or something like that to protect ourselves. I don't really know what we're going to do yet, but uh, more Raptors. Okay. Fight these continue on Hmm, a blue drop right there. Man, it is gorgeous here. It just absolutely, this game is so beautiful. I know I keep saying it, but it looks so freaking good. Oh, a snail. Hello, little snail. Can I open this? Oh, I can. Oh my, an ascendant crossbow. <laughs> Durability 561, 318 damage. 
I will take that. But we got a Gallimimus saddle. Ooh, we got some uh, boots. Ah, oh, some scissors. Rock root seed. Those can stay. We'll just dodge those or throw those out. An ascendant crossbow. Are you serious right now? That is freaking amazing. And uh, we might as well just go ahead and throw on those better boots. Fantastic. Friggin' ascended crossbow. Another thing too I learned is that if you hold R, you can just quick swap your ammunition in your crossbows and your weapons and stuff. That's fantastic. You can do the same thing also, I think, with alt to swap your um, weapon attachments, right? So if you have like a flashlight on a handgun or a scope for a long neck, you can just quickly swap between those two. <sighs> Okay, we're in swamp territory, which is uh, not a safe place to be. Hmm. Let's have a look at the map here. I, it's been a long time since I played the island, so I don't quite remember where the safe places are. I'd almost like to maybe come over here. If I remember quite correctly where the swamp kind of comes through here. There's some safe ledges up over here that might be nice to build on. Or maybe we can even come back down over here somewhere. I just, I have no idea. Finding a base is always difficult for me. If you guys... If you guys watch any of my other uh, playthroughs, you know I spend too much time trying to find a place for a base. But maybe we go up by a green obelisk or something. I want to find somewhere beautiful. Hmm. Holy crap, there's Rhino Natha right there. Oh my. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Freaking Rhino Natha. Okay, I need to dodge that guy for sure. Uh huh. We're just going to avoid the Rhino Natha. That is fantastic. Oh, I was wondering if they were going to be in ASA on the launch. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness gracious. I know I keep saying it, but it's so pretty. Oh god, I'm being chased by a Therizinosaurus, and it seems to be faster than me, and that's not good. I have no way to get down. We might have to bail. Oh my goodness gracious. Actually, I think we'll be okay. At this point, I'm just wandering around, <laughs> exploring, and uh, just having my mind blown by the uh, majesty of the of the scenery around me. It, it's freaking amazing. It looks so bloody good. Um, I need a drink also. Uh, also, do I have a leech on me? Is that what that is? Freaking leeched. I was in the swamp for two seconds and I already got a leech on me. Um, is this swampy water again? I think it is. I think we are. <gasps> Ooh, a horse. Too bad I lost that ascendant horse saddle. Also, I see ruins here. Ruins typically indicate uh, Explorer notes and I see a chest right there Give it to me <laughs> Bonus experience Apis lithohermia drones never stray far from their nests Which they build high in the island's redwood trees or on rocky cliff sides Apis drones can be seen swarming around the nest in groups But to get a look at the Queen Apis One would need to crack open the nest itself Speaking from experience, this is not a pleasant task, as the untamable Apis drones are quite territorial. I probably should have seen that one coming in hindsight. Take caution, Apis stings will significantly weaken any creature which suffers them. And because its stinger is not barbed, Apis can sting multiple times without its stinger being ripped away. A tamed Apis queen will lay new drone eggs and construct a nest that survivors can farm for honey, so long as they remember to wear specialized beekeeping gear. Said honey is not only sweet and delicious, but laced with scents that land mammals find irresistible. Many hunters use it to bait their traps. Apis drones will also follow their queen into battle, so they can be used for self-defense in a pinch. Mmm, fantastic. Thanks for the info on the bee. That is uh, wonderful. So I'm going to continue this way. I'm thinking, just like I said before, I'm thinking I don't want to be in the swamp. <laughs> so I'm thinking somewhere around up here. I remember, if I remember correctly, there's a flat area up here, which might be good for a base. It also was beautiful before. Um, and if not, maybe somewhere over here. I just don't want to be in the swamp anymore. Uh, we've been leached. I've been chased by Therizinosauruses. I have uh, seen Rhinonathus. It's just not a good time. It's just not a good time. So uh, yeah, we are going to continue on this way. Hopefully find a flat, beautiful area. I mean, <laughs> there's no shortages of beautiful areas around here. But um, hopefully we'll find somewhere nice. I should also stop for a drink of water, I think, too. Hmm, I wonder if this is a bug for, like, it says the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get out of there. <laughs> I'm almost dead. It says that um, I have hypothermia. It says it's like 50, 56 degrees. Like, 
It doesn't even make sense. I'm not going to be able to uh, keep up the heating. I even took off all my clothes. And uh, my temperature is uh, still super high. And I'm still dying. And uh, the water's not cooling me off. So that is a, a thing that <laughs> I'm not sure how to solve right now. Why do I have hypothermia? Uh, dude, can I not get on the raptor? Why? Toggle POI. No, I just want to ride the, I just want to ride my raptor, bro. What the heck is going on? Hmm. Oh, Holter, maybe it's because of the leech? There we go. I guess it was because of the leech. I have hypothermia. I'm going to die in a second, and I don't know how to solve that. Yep, that's, uh, that's a thing. All right, we're good now on the heat. Like, it's 26 degrees here. It's 55 degrees over there. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't even make sense. So, uh, continuing on this way. We're pretty close to the base, actually. But I'm going to continue. I'm going to go through, like, cut through the jungle over here and then go up that stream over there and see what the deal is there. And hopefully, we don't uh, overheat anymore. I have no idea what the deal with that is. I'm thinking I want to check out up there. The view across looks pretty nice up over here um and maybe somewhere over here i don't know how much they changed the map but i mean nothing really looks familiar to me i mean obviously like the layout of where the swamps are and stuff like that but the terrain it looks completely different to me um again it has been a long time since i played the island i haven't played the island i want to say like an ase in probably like two years two and a half years so uh yeah it's been a while because i've been playing a lot of modded maps and all the new ones they come out with things like that Let's see, is this gonna be a good place for us up over here? Is there enough space to build? Excuse me, dinos. Ah, oh, man, a Therizinosaurus, naturally. Naturally, there's a Therry up here. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Ah, oh, I, don't, I don't know if it's big enough though. Hmm, let's open up the map again here. Ah, oh, this is nice. This is central of the swamp though. We do have quite a ways we can go over here too. I guess I'm just gonna keep exploring around. See what else we can find. All right, I know where I'm at now. Oh, the stupid birds. Over here, near the, uh, the area I'm looking for is over by the red obelisk. There's a nice flat area, at least there used to be. Let's see if I can make it across here without dying. But there used to be an area, a flat area near the red obelisk. That's kind of where, where I think I'm gonna go. Well, it definitely looks different, but this is the place here. This is what I was thinking of. Uh, it's still, it looks gorgeous up here. Most of these rocks are going to have to be cleared out. It's a nice flat little area, big enough for all of our dinos, things like that. And again, it doesn't have to be a permanent location. It uh, it might be temporary, who knows? But this is a place that's big enough, flat enough. Oh my gosh, another explorer note. We're going to save that for another time. But up here, you can see red obelisk right there, looking all gorgeous within the fog. We have the ocean. I think that's the ocean. Is that the ocean right there? Yeah, access to the ocean right over here. Uh, the swamp and redwoods are right over there. I like it. I like this place. I mean, it doesn't have amazing vista views, but it, uh, it's an ideal place for building a base. I think. Yeah, we can go right up the river over there. This is a good spot to set up shop, I think, just to get started. So first thing we need to do is gather up some resources. We're going to need some uh, thatch fiber and wood. Let me put my armor all back on. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh, uh, we'll use these ones. Hopefully it doesn't cause me to overheat, but I want to be a little bit protected while we're out doing this stuff. Um, hmm, fortitude. We might actually have to pump a little bit more in fortitude, but I'm going to go two points into health for now. Okay, let me gather up some stuff and clear out a little bit of space so we can get started on a little base location. I don't think this place is going to be permanent, but it's flat, and it allows me to build a big enough base so we can start getting some metal smelting going on, things like that. And then once, you know, once we explore around a little bit more and we find a beautiful area that has some beautiful views, maybe up high or something, then we'll change it up a little bit and see. Um, I mean, there's nothing preventing me from having multiple bases, right? So I'm just going through here. I'm clearing out all these, uh, this pile of rocks right in the center here. This is where I think I'm going to build the, the house. Um, right over here, just kind of in the middle for now. First, let's go to the Raptor and drop off all this stone and heavy things that I don't really need to keep on me. The galley saddle, everything else should be fine. Everything else is pretty light. All right, continue. I'll continue to clear out this area here. And would you look at that? A supply drop comes down right over here. I love how the legs pop out of it. <laughs> oh, it's so much cooler. 
They look so much better than they used to. Okay, what do we got? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Gift from the gods. I will take all of these beautiful base pieces. Fantastic. How'd you know that's what I was doing? Well, we might as well go put down the uh, first wooden foundations here. And uh, I think if I hold Q, oh yes, we can cycle through all of the stuff within our inventory. And um, that's like a second toolbar, right? So if I hold Q, it goes back. Or sorry, if I hold Q, it goes back to the regular toolbar. So if you hold Q, it switches to this toolbar, which allows you to use 09 to scroll through your entire inventory. So uh, that is fantastic for building bases. And I love building bases. I want to keep this big tree here. I like it. So we're going to put down the first foundation, probably up high, somewhere like there. We can come this way. Perfect. Um, how many are we going to need here? How big do we want to go? I'm thinking at least, what, three by, I don't know, three by five or something for now. It doesn't have to be huge, just something good enough. I wonder if we can stack foundations now, or do we need to wait for another mod for that? Hmm, I don't know. We have enough to build another foundation on us? Oh, we do not. I'm gonna go gather up some more resources. I'm gonna fill up the, the uh, raptor with a bunch of stuff. I don't wanna gather the trees from here. I wanna leave it. I wanna leave the trees over here just for now. Uh, we'll drop off these building pieces. Oh, did it swap? Hold on a second. I switch back to Q. Oh, it, oh, I see what it does. It takes the items from your inventory, puts them on the toolbar and swap. Oh my goodness, that is, <laughs> that's amazing. So I think I want to unlock the uh, water intake and water tap right now and the tank. These, uh, the water works a little bit different than it used to. I also need a drink. So the first thing I think I want to do, oh man, the Raptor is super overburdened right now. The first thing I want to do is build a storage. Please tell me I have enough. Um, I shall actually unlock the uh, larger storage box if I can. Yeah, storage box, bookshelf. Oh, I love that they stack those things up. That's fantastic. Do I have what I need to make a storage? No, what do I need? I need some more thatch, I need some more fiber. Oh, you can just place storages right on the ground? Oh my goodness, we're just gonna slap this guy down right here for now. Perfect. We can come in and drop off a bunch of stuff. I don't know why I'm keeping those berries. Uh, we can keep that in there and then uh, empty out the raptor, run down, get a drink of water and hopefully put down a pipe. Mm, I think we got a game crash, folks. Yep, sure did. Hmm, that's weird. I just loaded back in and look at that. My uh, my water is full. <laughs> Why would my water be full? I don't know. Weird. What do you do? You log out, you log back in, and all of a sudden your uh, water and all of your health and everything's healed. Okie dokie. Well, whatever works, I guess. Uh, there's no big rush in getting down for water, but I am going to go down and we're going to put down a water pipe because I want to see how that works. Um, You know what? Let's increase his weight a little bit done a lot into his other stuff let's make one of these uh we're definitely gonna need a tap and we're gonna need oh we don't have cementing paste for that so i'm hoping these reach i'm not sure let's make one more i'm not sure how these work but uh we're gonna we are gonna explore that and see how it works um we're gonna need to find a better way to get down to the water's edge too for now i guess we just come this way come down and see if we can put a water so the water pipes work i think in like a range an area so if we come down and put one down like right over here it should hopefully reach our base i'm thinking well, let's see let me get up on here let's put you down we want a water intake I don't know how this is gonna work, so let's just uh, full alignment, rotate with E, hold. Guess let's put that down. Okay, so that covers this whole area, which I think covers our base, possibly. Let's run up there and see. <laughs> Again, I've never used them, this new system, um, so I have no idea how it works, but we'll see. I know that the reservoir tanks in, in, like increase the range, so we'll have to maybe place one of those up on our base, but most importantly, I just want to have a water tap up here. So we have a place to drink where we don't have to run down. So we're going to place that guy. Uh, we're going to build our structure over here. We're going to see if we can place a water tap just over here temporarily, like near the edge. Let's see. Um, if I place a water tap, where does that? Oh, so yeah, it doesn't reach. 
Bubble wasn't quite far enough. Hmm. How can we how can we remedy? Well, we could put it right here. So that's within the area. Hold on. What if we put down uh, down this tap? Does it have other pieces? No. It has to go into water. So what is the tap attached to? Are there other pipes? Hold on a moment. Or maybe the tap itself has variants. No, it doesn't. All right, well, I guess the water tap's going right here for now. It might be hard to see, but uh, we can drink from it. <laughs> Whatever works. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go three by five here. So we got three that way. Need to add one more here, fill in this area. And that's just for now. I'm hoping we're high enough. Ah, I might have to even go higher. I should have gone maybe started up at this point. But we can expand back there, right to that tree, this whole area here. Doesn't need to be a boxy design. It's just, it's our first home. So uh, we'll see. I'm gonna need to keep gathering wood. <laughs> it's slow. I should have, honestly, I should have made uh, metal tools before starting this, but that's okay. I always struggle. Honestly, I always struggle like starting, like finding a base location, starting it. Once I get into it, I can always make it beautiful and wonderful <laughs> and, and super awesome. But I always struggle for the hardest time finding a base location, like settling on one. Drop a comment down below. Does that happen to anyone else? Like, do, do any of you struggle with that issue as well too? Or is it just me? <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. Oh, I definitely appreciate the sunsets. Oh, I do so. They are so beautiful. I also appreciate the lack of complete darkness at nighttime. <laughs> that was always so annoying. But uh, wow, oh my goodness gracious. Would you look at that obelisk glowing like a beautiful beacon of radiant light. Okay, let's come in here. Now, what do we have? We got a bunch of wood going on. We have fiber thatch. How many foundations is, no, we don't want those ones. How many foundations is gonna give us? Eight and we need nine. Um, so we might as well, before I do that, actually, what I wanna do is we're gonna craft a campfire and we are gonna get some some more food cooking just so I don't run out. Let's transfer all this in here. Uh, the berries we can get rid of too. And this stuff for now. Take the campfire and we're gonna take just a little bit of wood just to get it lit. Uh, 80 should actually be good. Yeah, I like that. Now, where do we want the campfire to go? Hmm. We could snap it onto the foundation, but I don't think so. We're gonna put the campfire like right here. So we can see where our base is. We will light that up. And I think the raptor over here, he's got some uh, some meat on him. So we're gonna probably cook up like half of it. And then we'll just split the rest of that. And then we can come over here to the campfire and uh, get our meat cooking we're gonna need some so let's cook up these 289 i mean that's gonna be way more than we need but that's okay i think all i need to do is grab some more wood and um we're done i've been clearing a big chunk of the forest over here we're far enough away from the base that hopefully this stuff grows back oh man i'm thirsty already come on let's get get some water at our little water tap there we go everything we need for all nine foundations oh fantastic for us um a lot of the stuff we don't need, like all these berries, man. So let's go ahead and we'll uh, transfer the berries. Are they not called berries anymore? Oh no, they, yeah, well they are. Why would you not filter any of that stuff? Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just uh, tra ha transfer them the old fashioned way. For those, we don't need those stones on us either. And we're probably still gonna be overweight here with just these foundations. Hmm. Nope, we're good. So let's go ahead and place those. Um, how can I switch these menus here? Oops, I did not mean to eat that raw meat. Too many things in the inventory. There we go. Let's get these placed down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. The start of a home. Uh, I mean, obviously we could go a little bit bigger or do something a little bit different. Uh, I don't want this menu anymore. I want this one. There we go. Perfect. I like it so far. Um, do we have the resources we need to build a bed? Let's have a look. It'd be nice to have a respawn up here. We've got this. 
come back over here and uh, we're gonna need some more wood and other things what do we need for a bed where we got the resources for it that is uh, fantastic we don't have what we need for a forge or a smithy yet but uh, we're gonna work on that next episode I think um, this episode we've made a decent amount of progress let's go ahead and just put the bed right here for now um, we've finally finally got some roots down which is uh, super amazing. I'm happy that we were able to find a base location. We did a little bit of exploring and we got a friggin' Ascendant Crossbow. How exciting is that? Uh, next episode, we're gonna continue work on the base and see what else we can get up to. But uh, for now, yeah, you know what guys? I think that's pretty much gonna be it. If you guys like the video, please do smash that like button. It really does help out the channel. And if you dislike it, hit the dislike button. I love you anyway. And if you're not yet subscribed, think about smashing that subscribe button, then hit that bell. That way you're gonna be notified. Also, another quick reminder, guys, channel memberships sh memberships are open. Uh, I'm considering for any channel members, uh, anyone who signs up for any tier could have access to my server and uh, play along with me. All right, guys, thanks for coming out and I hope you enjoyed the episode. We will see you next time. Peace.